Hi fans of high quality entertainment. Speaking of fans, I met a viewer today at the Quinty Mall in Belleville, Ontario. He approached me very gingerly and he said, are you Larry from YouTube? And I said, no, now go away. Actually, uh, very nice guy. So he posted this on Instagram and so I thought he would post it here. I hope he doesn't sue me. So if you live in the local area and you do see me, don't be shy. Say hi. And on my ASMR Larry Graves channel, I've, uh, I just bought some new CDs which I show on that channel. So the link will be at the end of this video if you want to check it out. Once again, you're in jail. Imagine. Just imagine you're in jail. And for a full year, you have no music to listen to. Except you have a choice of two stacks of the Beatles solo albums. But you can't mix and match or anything. You have to take either stack one or stack two. That's the rules. Sorry. <clears throat> so here we go. And uh, I've tried to make it fairly even with, uh, you know, the really good albums compared to the good albums. You know, some, are, some I love more than others. And I've tried to make it even with the John, Paul, George, and Ringo. It might not be perfect, but this is just for fun, okay? So in stack number one, you are presented with John Lennon's Mind Games, Paul McCartney and Wing's London Town, George Harrison's All Things Must Pass, which of course is a three record set, but uh, I'm not really including the jam thing. Maybe it doesn't come with it. It's just a double, okay? Because there's a double in the other list. Um, Number four, Paul McCartney's Flaming Pie. Number five, George Harrison's Brainwashed. Number six, Ringo's Stop and Smell the Roses. Number seven, Paul McCartney's Chaos and Creation in the Backyard. Number eight, John Lennon's Walls and Bridges. Number nine, Paul McCartney's debut solo album, McCartney. And number 10, Ringo Starr's Time Takes Time. So that's stack number one. You can either choose that, or would you choose stack number two, which is number one, John Lennon and the Plastic Ono Band, his first real solo album. Number two, Ringo Starr, Goodnight Vienna. Number three, Paul McCartney, Band on the Run. Number four, Paul McCartney, Tug of War. Number five, John Lennon, Imagine. Number six, George Harrison, Cloud Nine. Number seven, Ringo. Number eight, McCartney 2. Number nine, double album, uh, John Lennon and Yoko Ono sometime in New York City. And number 10, Paul McCartney Ram. And looking over this list, I know a, a lot of you consider George Harrison's All Thing Must Pass as the best Beatles solo album. But then, when I'm looking at this, uh, Ram is highly regarded by Beatles fans as a great solo album. Do this again. Uh, but personally, what? Which one would I list? Let me think. Uh, the, the albums I absolutely love: London Town, Chaos and Creation in the Backyard, Walls and Bridges. And McCartney. That's four. Now I do love All Things Must Pass, but it's it. I don't love it as much as a lot of Beatles fans do. There's just some songs I absolutely love, and two or three others that are just so so for me. Stack number two, John Lennon's first album, Band on the Run.
McCartney 2, which I absolutely love, and Ram. You know what? I think between the two stacks, I'm going to have to go with stack number two. With uh, the Plastigono Band, Goodnight Vienna, Band on the Run, Tug of War, Imagine, Cloud Nine, Ringo, McCartney 2, Sometime in New York City, and Ram. Because I love Yoko Ono, and she sings some of the songs in Sometime in New York City. But I, I have a sneaky feeling most people, most fans, are going to pick stack number one. But maybe you'll surprise me. So I'll try and remember to list both stacks here. And then I would really, 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 really like your opinion of which stack you would take in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and remember to check out my uh, latest ASMR Larry Graves video in which I uh, bought some new older CDs today. Bye.